So I'm going to try to force a Hush River Valley start here. Uh, let's go survival mode. Um, um, I'm going to delete the uh, Stalker Funnish one. That was the one we were just playing. Uh, custom mode, what's that? Oh, that was just that custom mode when I was doing. I'm going to get rid of that one, too. I'm running out of slots. Okay. So let's do a new game on Interloper. We're going to be trying to force a Hush River Valley start where we actually start at the top of Hush River Valley. Uh, let's just, uh, let's call it HRV, please. We'll call it interloper start science. No, on Interloper, you don't get to pick your map. You just gotta, you spawn wherever you spawn. Like this one, we got ourselves a Pleasant Valley spawn. We don't want a Pleasant Valley spawn. Oh! Rambo Jenkins. How you doing, man? Oh, you know what? I should play right now for everybody. While I try to force this, there you go. Have fun watching that for a second, guys. That is what that is what is coming in a few short days. That is what is coming out, boys and girls. Okay, we got a we got a start here in uh, we got a start here in Forlorn Muskeg. Not the worst place to start. There's usually always a wolf over here, but maybe we'll get lucky and he won't find us. Sometimes the fire striker will be by this dude here, but today he's got a candy bar. I had a bad night at work. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. That sucks. Not a bad little start, actually. We got matches. Oh, we got a free box of matches. Wow, that's actually a really good start. I can't feel my hands. I know you can't. It's horrible. Well, I I, I figure uh, strong pelt any box of matches that's not at a preset spot in the game. <clears throat> is a free box of matches. Anything I pull out of a crate or uh, or off a dead body or find somewhere that it's not supposed to be, because like the matches in this zone that are guaranteed are at the uh, at the Forlorn Muskeg Forge. So the Forlorn Muskeg Forge is the ones that it, that's where that's where that guaranteed ones are. Oh, actually, Freaky Boys, we made it to day two hundred. Um, I don't know why I'm doing all this. I want to go to HRV. Why is it when I start a new character, I just want to go with him? I'm just like, let's see how far we can get. But yeah, the, the matches guaranteed in Hush River Valley, in, uh, not Hush River Valley, in Forlorn Muskeg are at the Forge. So pretty much, um, if I get other matches here in, Hush, in uh, Forlorn Muskeg, I keep calling it Hush River Valley for some reason. 
they're sort of free matches. But um, there's there's about six free there's about six guaranteed match spots seven eight there's some guaranteed match spots in the game if you spawn in forlorn muskeg you want to go to the forge and get your matches there unless like us you find a free box of matches just sitting in a box on your way over uh then you go oh well i don't have to go to the forge now which saves us a lot of time and energy <clears throat> um if you uh spawn in uh, Pleasant Valley, you want to go straight to the basement of the farmhouse, and there's always a box of matches there. Uh, no hacksaw here. Damn it. That sucks. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pass some time here and die. So, yeah, if you step on in Pleasant Valley, you go to the foil. You got to go to the basement of the farmhouse. Here in Forlorn Muskeg, you want to go over to the uh, the forge and get your matches. In Hush River Valley, there's matches. What? I'm getting warm? No, 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 no. That is unacceptable. Oh, jeez. Chewy with a hundred bitty cheer saying, good show, catch you later. Good show, catch you later. All right, catch you later too, Chewy. Have a good night, my friend. Um, if you spawn in Timberwolf Mountain, you want to go to the Mountaineer's Hut to get your guaranteed matches. There's another guaranteed spot in Timberwolf Mountain that is by the uh, Three-Way Cave. If you spawn in Desolation Point, you want to go to Hibernia Processing Center because you're guaranteed to get matches there. And if you spawn in Hush River Valley, you, you get matches in an ice cave or an outdoor cave that is on Hush River itself, which if we get a Hush River start, then I'll be able to actually see that. We'll actually be able to show you that. Come on, HRV, please. Freaky boys, just made it rain. Let's add in. Let's add in some bonus points for all you guys hanging around with me while I dink around on some weird stuff here. We'll just add in some bonus stuff. All right, let's see. Do we get the Hush... Damn it, we got the same start we got last time. We got the same start we got last time. That sucks. Seems to like that start today, I don't know why. And I can't really kill myself. It's hard to kill yourself in that position. Because there's no cliffs to jump off. Go for thin ice. Yeah, unfortunately, the thin ice is way far out there. No, I did not die. I, I did not die. We made it to 200 days. And then I wanted to mess around with a little bit of a stalker. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This is the start we wanted, guys. This is where we wanted to start. This is at the top of Hush River. This is one of the two spots you'll spawn in the zone. So we're going to make our way down the river here. This is exactly where I wanted to spawn. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is actually where we started spawning. This is where we started on that 200-day run. This zone is amazing. Amazing. If you know, if you know how to get around it. <laughs> if you don't know how to get around it, this zone sucks, but like major butt. It's only one arrow down temps for us right now, too. <laughs> we'll grab these cattails. This will be our starting food for the game. Then we're going to see... <clears throat> we're going to see if we get the... Uh, Get the uh, good loot. 
the, uh, the, um, whatchamacallit, the climbing socks again. Yes, this, oh, this was, this zone is bad for sprained ankles and stuff. That is for sure, D. Yeah, this zone is not real forgiving on, on sprained ankles and stuff. I don't want to track the. There's a wolf in here. That's why you have to kill a rabbit right away, guys. There's a wolf that patrols this area. That's why I keep dropping the carcass as well because I don't want to. I don't want to track him before it's time. Now the cave we want's right back there, but we have no matches yet. So we need to go get matches. And we have no bedroll. And we have no uh, hacksaw. Because that's all in the cave that has the wolf in it. There he is. Take my offering, Mr. Wolf, of that beautiful, lovely rabbit. And let us go upon our way. Now we'll get away. We'll get as far away from him as possible, basically. Yeah, this zone is a lot of sprained ankles and sprained wrists, because there's a lot of ups and downs in this zone. And it's very easy to get the sprained wrists and ankles from... Uh, from all the uh, climbing and descending that you do. Cold Pop-Tart, you lost six times in a row? Holy shnikes, man. Yeah, it is, it is pretty warm right now. But now we're getting cold. So this cave here is the cave you want to get to. This cave here has guaranteed matches inside of it. Icy cool. How's it going, buddy? So this cave always has matches. Sometimes has gloves. Sometimes we'll have a hat as well. Oh, well, look, we got a hat today. And it always has matches in here. This is, the, this is your booyah cave. This is where you want to come. When you want to go booyah and put a hat on. Oh, we got a t-shirt on. Look at us. We got a t-shirt, some long johns, jeans. We're like for, we're like dressed for a nice, warm, sunny day, guys. Too bad it's negative three out. Now, here's the next trick. We have to survive the cave that has the wolf in it. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly, Bard. It's boo, y'all. Luckily, there's no more wolves here. There's just that one that patrols the patrols the uh, length of this place. Okay, why am I going to pick up feathers? Just because I always do. I'm addicted. I have to pick them up. I have to make myself believe that I'm going to live. It gives me hope. It gives me purpose. Well, uh, we finished our 200-day uh, run on our interloper character. We got to day 200. Uh, we've now forced ourselves to spawn in the same spot. The same setup as where we got climbing socks in the cave behind the waterfall. So we're trying to see if we can get climbing socks again. 
I don't know if we're going to be able to or not, but we're going to see. I don't know if the game's going to be that kind and generous to us. I'm going to crouch as I go in because sometimes the wolf is like really close here. Oh, I need tinder. Do I have any sticks? I have no sticks. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> There's a stick. Oh, jeez, you scared the bejesus out of me there. Crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> we need to make a tinder. Oh, jeez. Oh, he got us. Sketchy got us. No. That's the wolf that's in that cave, guys. That's the wolf in that cave. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh. That is the wolf in that cave. He's not very he's not very nice. I thought I heard him like doing stuff while we were making our stuff. I should have gone outside and made it. I shouldn't have been stupid and made it inside. <laughs> he just wrecked our face. Can we get the same start again? That would be nice. No. Now this is the other spot. There's only two spots you spawn in Forlorn Muskeg. You spawn up up that direction. You see where the radio tower is way, 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 way over there. You spawn up by the river there, and you can go to the radio tower. This is the other spawn point you have in Interloper. And if you spawn here, I'll just show you real quick. Not going to any HRV cave now. Well, that's the only one that has the wolf in it. And we could have got by Sketchy if uh, if uh, if we had gone outside and made our made our stuff. We could have come back inside, lit a fire, and that sort of stuff. Oh man, that just so makes me sad. Again, we got pretty decent temps. It's late in the day, but yeah, if you spawn on that little plateau back there, you want to head up this direction. This will lead you to the forge, because the forge is, like, right along. I think you might be able to see it from here. It's right behind those rocks over there, straight ahead of us. Now, here you're going to have a little... You have a little uh, problem. There's no wolf in the signal fire. I thought your game was bugged. Huh, that is weird. But no climbing socks. Maybe you have to get the climbing socks to have, you know... You have to have the wolves to get the climbing socks, Abby. That might be the reason. That might be why. So usually there's one to two wolves between this area here. Of course, there's the tickle my butt with a feather birch. Going, hey, look, I'm birch and I'm just sitting right here waiting for you to harvest. Oh, never mind. You don't have a, you don't have a hacksaw. Never mind. Never mind. But we'll force the HRV start here in a second. Usually I, stop, I loot all that stuff up, the mushrooms and everything. Uh, if you come in the cave here, there's sometimes a body, sometimes other things in the cave. Oh, wow, we actually got really good loot in the cave today. Cedar, fur, a summit soda, a book, a little bit of coal, a little bit of this, and a little bit of that. Usually I'd pick those up as well. And then you just got to be very careful about the wolf here. Which what means, well, since I said that, that means we'll probably die to him. Yeah, there's the wolf right there.
We can sort of scale this wall up here to kind of get around him. Because he can't get up here. We can, but he can't. Woo! <clears throat> oh, I, I actually like Desolation Point starts. If you can make it through the first part of Desolation Point, or uh, not Desolation Point, Hush River, or uh, uh, Forlorn Muskeg starts. God, I can't even think straight today. I actually like Forlorn Muskeg starts. They're nice. I think they are anyway. Just because I can usually get to the forge, get my stuff. Usually the forge has decent loot, and then you can head straight over the ice. And you get out of here. Once you've gotten your loot at the forge. I know, to each, each to his or her own. Everybody has their favorite zone, so. Each of the zones, I think, has some upsides and downsides. I find Pleasant Valley and Timberwolf is usually the easiest starts I'll get in the game. Forlorn and Desolation... And Hush River Valley are all kind of tied for third, fourth, and fifth. Toss up whether I'd want to spawn there or not. I just like a lot of the loot I can get here. There's always matches right here. That's where you're going to get your matches in Interloper when you start here in, Hush River, in uh, Forlorn Muskeg. It's open? What? Cray cray. Uh, you do. You never spawn in Mystery Lake and Interloper. There's only five five places you'll spawn in Interloper, and that's in Pleasant Valley, Timberwolf Mountain, Forlorn Muskeg, Hush River Valley, and uh, Desolation Point. <clears throat> but yeah, Mystery Lake is not is not open, not open for business. <clears throat> Not on interloper anyway. Now there's usually some accelerant underneath there. Um, <clears throat> we can start a fire here and sleep, but yeah, pretty much that's that's pretty much what you do here. You just loot it up, and I usually loot, boot, and scoot this early in the game. My goal now is to get to get to. Uh, Mystery Lake, get the heck out of here. Oh, Mystery Lake is the best. Even in, even in Interloper, Mystery Lake has a majority of the gear you're going to need um, um, in the game. How's Interloper loot versus Stalker as far as location and loot tables? Um, actually, there is a, loot on Stalker is pretty much completely randomized. Um, and there's so much of it, I've never tried to categorize where loot is on Stalker. There's just too, there's too much of it. I mean, our loot tables for Interloper are pretty comprehensive for the six main items you want to find. They don't have the match spawns on them because the match spawns are a constant on every loot table. There's never, even, even on inner, even on lesser, uh, on, uh, uh, lesser difficulty levels, there's still matches at the Forlorn Muskeg Forge every time. Then you can just jimmy jive over the ice here and get your get yourself the heck out of here. Uh, no, you can't use the interloper loot tables on Stalker, unfortunately. They don't have any any bearing on it one way or the other. Yeah, there, there's a lot of loot on, on Stalker, so it does not really matter a whole lot, does it?
Is that a wolf over there? Thought I saw a wolf in the distance. Yeah, this has actually been a very good start. This would be a great start to an interloper. I mean, it's late in the evening. Temperatures are good. It's only negative seven. Temperatures are good. We won't lose too much health tonight or today while we walk across the ice. We were able to loot our matches up. We're going to loot up the, the train wreck up here. I think it's called the poacher's camp. So we're going to loot poacher's camp and get a bunch of extra stuff out of there. The nice thing about the poacher's camp is there's always a flare there. It's, it's, it is actually a constant. You'll always find a flare at the poacher's camp, which is kind of cool because that gives you a freebie fire right off the bat. You never have to waste a match early game on making a fire. Now, one thing you have to worry about with Poacher's Camp. Oh, why am I not picking those up for Tinder? Good God. I'm so used to late game now, I'm not picking up the cattail heads as Tinder. I drop them automatically, and I shouldn't be doing that. That's good Tinder that I don't have to break sticks down for. Dirt to dirt. You just gotta watch for the bear. And sometimes wolves around here. I'll go in the train in a second. I just want to loot up behind the train because there's always stuff here. Sometimes there's a backpack over here, but not today. And the train has a flare here. Oh, look, there's a couple pieces of coal. Sometimes there's a coat or something in here, too. And eh, we got a scarf. That's kind of nice. We don't have a hat yet. Oh, shoot. Might as well light it now. Now, one trick I've never been good at is throwing things at wolves. Nope, <laughs> didn't didn't work that time either. See, I can never I can never get him to throw wolves properly. I was just trying to make it step on it. Well, I it didn't want to step on it. It ran over it, but it didn't step on it. I'm never good at throwing throwing those at wolves though. I hate I hate trying to do that. Now the smart thing to do in that instance, guys, would have been to build a fire, and then uh, then go from there. Let's try to push that Hush River Valley start. Because that's an easy way to lose your uh, lose your run if you try to do that. And unfortunately, I just, want, I just want to see what would happen. I know you can scare them away. I'm just not good at it. Oh, this is a different Hush River Valley start. This is the other spot you can spawn in Hush River Valley, guys. And the Hush River itself is just, like, right below us here. I mean, the Hush River is just right down there. Same pretty much loot setup. I'm wondering if you spawn here. Yeah, you have to hit him with a flare. Yeah, I'm no good at that. It's not in my playbook. 
Hunter Call of the Wild. Nice. Now, come over here. You want to scale down somewhere in here. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. And get to your cave. Hopefully, the wolf's not in the way. Grab our hat, our, our backpack, get our matches, get that. This time we need to grab a stick before we go in there, guys. Our piece of coal. Should have grabbed a stick while I was up above, huh? Yeah, but I don't have tinder. Oh, actually I do have tinder. Never mind. <laughs> that other Hush River Valley start, we could have lived if I had just kept the cattail heads. What a maroon I am. That was so stupid on my part, guys. So stupid. We could have lived if I had had Tinder. I wanted to jump it. I actually hit the jump button. I actually hit a jump. I actually hit the space bar to jump. <clears throat> yeah, there's a fire pit already in that in that cave there. All right, let's let's hope for better luck this time. Let's hope for better luck this time. We shall not die to Mr. Warfy today. I have tinder plugs. I have a piece of cedar. That's all we need. Uh, well, uh, PT, we did not, uh, PT, we did not, um, uh, we got to 200 days. Um, and then we went ahead and retired that dude. Uh, we're, we're just actually trying to see if we can get those climbing socks in Hush River Valley again. Yeah, and now I have, now I have tinder. Yeah. Um... Hopefully the wolf's just not right here. <laughs> well, I was stupid. I didn't. I. I'm. So, I was so used to playing late game when I didn't need uh, Tinder that. Um, Oh, the socks? Uh, the the uh, climbing socks you aren't supposed to be able to get an interloper. The best socks you could get an interloper um, are wool socks. The wool socks are the best ones you can get. You shouldn't be able to get climbing socks in interloper. Although I've got them in interloper, and somebody else in chat said that they got them in, inter in interloper as well. So now I'm just curious to see if we can force that spawn. I was just seeing if I could hear wolf wolf signs coming. All right, let's take a torch. See what we got. Thirty-two percent. It's good, but I want better. If you want better torches, just move around your fire, guys. You'll eventually find a spot where you get. Oh, we hit it on the second try. Forty-seven percenters, baby. Where in Hush River Valley do you expect them to glitch spawn? Uh, it will be in the other cave. That is over uh, behind the waterfall. Uh, this cave here is the one that has the wolf in it. And he's right there. And here comes Sketchy. Here comes Sketchy. He's super sketchy. Oh, jeez.
Yes, he's very glitchy. He doesn't do well in caves, guys. Wolves were not meant to live in caves. Well, that didn't work. Trying to trap him right now. See, you hear him? He's just like running and running and running. This wolf freaks me out because he does not act normal. He's not your average wolf, guys. That's why we call him Sketchy Wolf, because what he does is a little sketchy. You know what I'm saying? That's the way out. Loots aren't there. See, you hear him? He's somewhere in the walls. You see, he's somewhere in the walls. He's in the walls. You know, I'll probably return to the other one. Yeah. I want to trap him there, though. Frickin' sketchy little bastard. Little bastard. He is a sketchy little dude. Yeah, he's tra he's trapped in the wall now because he he glitched into the wall, and now he's trapped in there for a little while. So I'm hoping our uh, bed roll and stuff is up here. Oh, jeez. I didn't have any energy, but that's okay. I'll put our bedroll and our hacksaw and stuff are up here. Nope, we gotta go down the other corridor now. Dang it. It's downstairs. So that's the way out. Hoping it'd be up here, but we have to go down. We have to go down. There's like three spots in here that it can spawn. None of them I like. Ooh! I think you were the first person to play the new DLC for Hunter for the Hunter. All right, Rocky. Have a good night, my man. We'll see you later, buddy. Thank you so much for the gift sub you threw out tonight. I really appreciate that. And all of your support, man.
Don't look, guys. Don't look. It'll. It's. It's frightening. It's frightening. Don't look. Don't look. It's frightening. It's scary. It's a wolf in a wall. It's a wolf in a wall, guys. Wolves and walls are not to be messed with. Poor Sketchy, poor me! Here's our loot cache. Another box of matches, a book, bandage, hacksaw, bedroll, a little bit of food. Yes, this is vanilla. No custom settings on it. This is just pure, unadulterated interloper. And we're just trying to see if we can find those climbing socks again. Captain Ragebeard, how's it going, man? You want to see something really spooky? That's really spooky. You always go chocolate. <laughs> well, that is a guaranteed spawn on this map, uh, 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 P2. Um, if you can get to that cave in Hush River itself, you will always get that. Oh, we have a rabbit on us, don't we? And yes, guys, type in giveaway right now uh, if you want to. Actually, I'll do it here. There is the giveaway. Um, other guaranteed bedroll spawns. You can find all of those on the loot tables, uh, P2, that uh, Van Kalar and I created some time ago. And we've kept them up pretty well. Uh, yeah, Connor, we're doing some science. We're going to see if we can get those... Uh, we're going to see if we can get those beautiful climbing socks again. But those loot tables there uh, are pretty damn accurate. Pretty damn accurate. Um, I'd like to say they're about 95% accurate. So, All right, good night. Have a good one, P2. Thanks for stopping by. Good night, Freaky Boys. Oh, Freaky Boys is saying good night. You're saying good night to Freaky Boys. Freaky Boys, good night, my dude. See you later, man. Have a good evening, and uh, thank you for stopping by and saying hi, hanging out, and having fun. So what we're going to do is we're going to cook up this little rabbit we got. Make some little rabbit bits so we have some baits. Because we have a wolf coming up here that we have to get by. And we're also going to be hungry soon, so... And as you notice, I've made up quite a few torches, because torches are very good to have in this game. We do have a hacksaw now, which is really nice. Did I not pick that rabbit up? I thought I got that rabbit. Did I? Oh, there he is. Let's just take his meat. <laughs> Valor licking. Oh, are you heading out, uh, Connor? Are you already going? Or is Valor Licking going? I don't know who's going. Somebody's going. I don't know who's going. Somebody's going. Let's make a little water here, too, while we're going to harvest up the uh, rabbit. The rabbity. The rabbity hide. No, that takes too long. How about the gut? There we go. Get an axe out of the PV Red Barn metal table. Uh, there is a. 
If you notice along the bottom of the loot tables there, P2, there's actually four different loot tables. There's loot table A, B, or there's uh, loot table 1, 2, 3, and 4. Because there, there's four different loot tables. And the hacksaw is in the barn on loot table 2. The barn on table near car. So you, uh, you basically have to look through those loot tables um, and find out which one you're on so you know which one to go off of. Because there's four different loot tables for this game. For Interloper, anyway. But yeah, if you just look at the one loot table, it won't have everything on it. Eh, let's eat the rabbit first. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's kind of a confusing thing because it has the four it has the four different tables on there. Ice Scythe, thank you so much for the follow there, man. I appreciate that. Oh, Jesus Christ. And then somebody ducky hugged me. Rambo Jenkins in with the ducky hugs. Thank you for the ducky hugs there, my friend. I'm actually going to leave the... Uh... Nah, I'm going to take the guts with me. I'll drop the gut for this dude. We can grab one torch out of this. Yes, that cave has three different spots. They're all dead ends that you can get that bedroll in. But it's very, very, very much worth doing. Yeah, we... Oh my god! Well, according to me, according to what I just saw... Iced Scythe is our 4,500th follower. So we're going to give out 450,000 bear hides right now. We just hit 4,500 followers, guys. That's pretty freaking cool. Thank you so much, guys. Yes, you are very special. Now, now I will always be able to say Ice Scythe was my uh, 4,500 4, follower. Yep, here he is. Here he is. Here he is. We're going to draw him back this way a little bit. Get to a little wider area. Just pick up that gut and keep on going, Mr. Wolf. You don't want a part of me. Foe oh, Jargon, how you doing, man? How's it going, buddy? Yes, there's something you can spend your bear hides on. Uh, uh, tomorrow night after the stream, we'll be giving away a free copy of Seven Days to Die. It is a Steam uh, copy, so you have to have Steam to be able to enter the code in. But if you want to get tickets into it, they are uh, 100,000 bear hides a ticket, which most of you who've been here for any amount of time know we give out a lot of bear hides. Unless you gamble them all away, you probably have a lot of bear hides. So, up late, normally can't catch me live. Nice. Well, we are going into the ice cave right behind this waterfall to see if we can uh, verify the spawn of the, uh, verify the spawn of the, um, climbing socks. Unfortunately, this torch will not make it through. Uh, try to buy another ticket, Frank, and it will tell you if you have too many tickets. There you go. Gotta put this out. Time to get naked and run through the waterfall. So who is Frank? 
Uh, you currently have 50 tickets, Frank. All right. So this ice cave here is great on many, for many, whoa, a dead deer, what? This ice cave is great for many reasons, guys. I've never had a dead deer in here, though. That's kind of cool. I bet you could eat a horse. So, as I was saying, this ice cave is really cool. You got to come in through the waterfall, which gets you instant hypothermia, but once you're in here, come up around this little cave, come up over here, and you'll find this in every single interloper. There'll be four things in this box. You'll get a box of crackers, a whetstone, a uh, pair of combat pants, and a head wrap. Whetstone, ear wrap, combat pants, crackers. Booyah, baby. And your life expectancy just went up by 58%. Now we're gonna go see if that, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna go see if the, uh, um, the interloper gods are gonna be kind to us or not. It's food. Hey, it's food. It's food. What, what condition is that in? 65% we could still get food poisoning off of it. I am not gonna risk it. I'm not gonna risk it. Unfortunately, there's another waterfall up here that we have to go through now, which really sucks. So let's get naked one more time. If you don't get naked, your stuff gets soaked. And then you're walking around in wet clothes, which don't do nothing for you. Now, there's no transition zone here. It's just a matter of getting cold. And we're burning matches, too, which I don't like to do, but, you know, we got two boxes now. Because we got one at the initial spawn point, and then we got one there. So, we can burn matches. That's fine. Here it is, guys. Here it is. Here it is. It's gonna... It, 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 might, it might be up there. We're gonna check this body first. Sometimes it has meat on it. I can always use more food. Oh... <laughs> Oh, snap. Is it going to happen? Is it going to happen? Oh, snap. A toque? An arrowhead? Oh, we got a toque and an arrowhead this time. It skunked us. We didn't get climbing socks. We just got a toque and an arrowhead. Well, that's not bad, though. That's not bad at all, boys and girls. And we got a huge piece of meat that we can eat. Well, we did not get it, but but this was not the same start as we got last time. When is venison on people? I know. Yeah, it's not the same patch as I as I got last time. Because the last time, this time I spawned up above Hush River Valley. The spawn where I actually got the climbing socks was when we stopped, spawned at the top of Hush River Valley and then walked our way down. So, I'm thinking that it may be, it may depend on what spawn point you get. May depend may, may determine if the climbing socks are going to be in there. Because otherwise that backpack had the same exact stuff. It had, a, it, it had the arrowhead in there and a piece of clothing... It just wasn't the climbing socks this time. So, oh, jeez. Rambo Jenkins in with the Bear Apocalypse. Thank you so much for the Bear Apocalypse there, my friend.
Okay, can I put my bedroll down here anywhere? Wow. They made it really hard to put bedrolls down in these caves, guys. I'm just telling you. There we go. I'm just saying. So we did not get the climbing socks this time. gonna make a little more water since we got a fire here going right now let's torque down as much food as we possibly can that's gonna spoil there we go drink a little bit of water I must have misentered the cheat code I know the hacks didn't work this time guys See if we can get some good torches out of here. That looks like a really crappy torch. That was a whopping 23 percenter. I don't like that. Let's move over here and see if we can get a better torch. Position around the fire. Oh, that looks like a good torch. 42 percenter. I can live with 42. Anything over 40 is decent. Stickman took over. I know. Stickman. We got to go visit Stickman again someday. Might as well explore up the rest of this cave while we're here. Oh, I didn't want to leave the cave. That was bad. Yes, we put that... Yeah, I put that game on hold to do a new game. I just... I'm, I was trying to do some science no strings and see if we got the climbing socks again. But we didn't get climbing socks, so make me make me feel bad. It makes me feel bad about myself. We still found the dead dude who had a full big honk of piece of meat on him. And the backpack was still up here as well. So we got the backpack. But it had a, uh, it had a, uh, wool toque in it for us this time instead of the, uh, instead of what we found last time. So. But as you can see, Hush River Valley, though, even on the start we got, is a very nice place to start the game. There's lots of loot in these caves you can get. As long as you can get past Sketchy Wolf, who, as far as I know, may still be running around in a wall in the other cave. Who knows? He's sketchy. What are you going to do? He's Mr. Sketchy Wolf. There's usually lots of wood and coal in these caves as well, so... Um, I was on loot table three, but I haven't I haven't seen that yet. I haven't seen what loot table we're on because we haven't got out of here yet. And unfortunately, the loot in this zone is kind of set. There's not an actual there's not an actual uh, difference in it. So I am kind of curious to get out of here and see what we find in Milton. See if we can correlate any of the loots that we have. Does the right side always give good torches? No, you pretty much pretty much to get better torches, you just have to move around the fire until you find a good spot. And there's no body in here. That sucks. That makes me feel sad. Sometimes there's a dead dude in here, like, who has stuff for you. And things. Where's the rope? There's the rope. Oh, I can't climb out of here anyway, so what am I, what am I bothering with? So I think you cannot be on loot table three this time. Yeah, I, I don't know. 
I am unsure how that all is going to fall out. Yeah, the, the the torch thing is just kind of move around until you find a good spot and then just start grabbing torches. Tongue feels like sandpaper. Okay, we'll, we'll give you something to drink, dude. Jeez, next thing you know, you'll be saying you're hungry. Hopefully you have a better day at work tomorrow. I hope so too, man. It sucks having a crappy day at work. I'm burning through matches, guys, because I really don't care. <laughs> Usually I wouldn't use up this many matches on Interloper this quick. Oh, there's a dead rabbit here. Be kind of cool. I don't know if we can step out here and see where the smoke signal is. What time of day is it? Oh, it's early morning. Let's just take a gander and see where the smoke signal is. Well, this is the exit you'd want to go if you had the smoke signal over here. I guess we can just go check it out and see if it's over here. I don't see the signal fire anywhere. Oh, look. It's a maple. It's a maple. Now, unfortunately, if the smoke signal is over here, you can't get to it because you have this in your way. And this is unpassable unless you have a... Unless you have a hatchet. Now, if I was really playing this, I'd pick all these cattails. Because look at all the cattails that are here. It's crazy. I just curious if there's a spot I could see if the smoke signal's over here or not. It's kind of driving me a little crazy. Yeah, smoke signal's in a bad spot this run. See, there's the smoke there. We have to get over there to get to it. And we have no hatchet. Alrighty, well, we gave this guy a try. It was kind of cool. Um, yeah. I did that on purpose. i really like to get a Hush River Valley start at the top. Of the of the river and see see if we can get see if we can get a we're gonna do one more start on Hush River Valley because we guaranteed that that it looks like it looks like that backpack and dead dude are in there no matter what we just got to figure out if we can uh, this is not what I wanted it's like Timberwolf Mountain isn't it. Yeah, it's T Wolf. It's T Wolf, baby. T Wolves. T Wolves rule. <laughs> when you don't like your loot, die of parasites. <laughs> oh no, was it? No, it wasn't T Wolves. It's the Wolverines, right? 
Is that, is that the Wolverines in, uh, in uh, what, Red Dawn? They had the Wolverines. Wolverines! It's like, you guys stole that from... Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, that wasn't bad. We got the Hush River Valley start we wanted. Okay. If we can bag two rabbits, I think I might just ditch even trying to go into the ice, into the cave with the, uh, with the, with the, uh, the wolf. If we can get two rabbits, we can go into this cave here and just, uh, and just check it out real quick. Just too punny. Yeah, I know. We're just too punny today. Grab a couple rocks here. Just need to get a few of these for food and that. Wolverines indeed, my friend. Wolverines. God, that was such a great movie. That movie was so awesome back in the day. I remember I watched that thing like probably 20 times. And for those of you who don't know, if, if you, all you know is the new Red Dawn movie, I'm sorry, you're missing out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, really? Seriously? Seriously? Good God, man. Who's, 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 who's aiming this gun here? I'm sorry, you must be sacrificed to the great wolf gods. You and your little friend down here, too. So I gotta go get my matches, then I gotta come back. And I might need you both. Alright. We're ready to rumble. Oh, jeez, he's right there. Wolf bait, hoo ha ha. That's why I usually drop the first rabbit before I go get the second rabbit. Because that smell brings that wolf, like, right up the canyon. He's, like, all over you. Yes, we have to sacrifice the poor rabbits. It's the only way to survive. It's the only way to do it. We have to do it. I know they feel numb, my friend. But we will soon be, we'll soon be in the cave. And we'll get our matches. And then we can go back to the other cave behind the waterfall and see what we can see. We're going to science it, guys. We're going to see if we can get that loot to spawn for us. Actually, while I'm down here, I might just start a fire, get the rabbit harvested up, get him cooked, because if it does turn out that it's there, we might try a run. So, Freezing. I know we're cold. I know we're cold. Need an option to pet the rabbit? Oh, you can pet the rabbits. If you, if you release them, it gives them a little pet, and it sends them on their way. Yeah, banana, you can do that. You can actually pet them, and uh, you, can actually, uh, you can actually set them free. If you wish. Moose stop! Strong pill just redeemed uh, the moose stop. That's a guys. That's, that's a, that's a, that's moose, a, that's right a moose, moose, you know. That's a moose right there. Yes, you can actually pet the rabbits and set them free. You don't have to kill them after you stone them. You can just have lots of stoned rabbits. You can, you can hit the same rabbit 15 times if you want to. Okay, we got no hat in here. But we got matches. Got a soda. Got a piece of firewood. But no coal. Very interesting. It's actually warm in here, though. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually... Uh, oh, it's actually warm in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to harvest the rabbit up while it's warm in here. And the little rabbity bits... And it's hide. Oh uh, yeah, we actually got a hat just this last uh, this last run.
Better. Now we have three pieces of bait to drop this stinky wolf. Oh, Mr. Stinky Wolf. It's gonna get naked, guys. Time to get naked. But yeah, I've seen uh, two baseball hats in there. Last two times we spawned here, we got baseball hats. It was a thrill. Oh, Rofi boy, I have some gifts for you. I don't know if you like them or not, but I have raw rabbit meats, and I've got uh, I've got some guts for you. I never know what it'll drop first, but I'm sure it'll be something tasty. I hope you get food poisoning. I mean, I hope you don't get food poisoning. He's gonna get food poisoning, guys. I just know it. Have you played Four Days of Night before? Yes, I, I played it last year. But last year, you actually had to download a a sort of a, a special version of the game. It wasn't incorporated in the game like I guess it's supposed to be this year, which sounds really cool. No deer in here this time. That's kind of good. Let's see if I can get up here and get our loots, our free loots, without a, without a light. Nope. But yeah, this year, um... Uh, this year it's actually going to be incorporated in the game. So that's going to be kind of cool. Can you actually poison wolves? No. <laughs> wolves do not, uh... Yeah. But yes, Four Days a Night was really, really fun. The key is to let your white reticle light up and then scan. <laughs> and I needed to make a fire to get torches anyway, so... There we go. Whetstone, ear wraps, combat pants, and salty crackers. They're there every time, ladies and gentlemen, every time. What kind of torch do we get? 29%? Let's move over here. That looks like a better torch. 49%. We like that. 49%'s better. We like 49%ers. All right, here we go. Let's go let's go see if let's go see if we got it. Pretty much this is just an exploratory run, guys. I don't even have a bedroll on me or nothing. So, we pretty much just have to loot up and go. Well, loot up and die, pretty much. But, you know. You know what I'm saying. Got a candy bar here that this time. That's interesting. And tuna fish in the, in the hopper. Do I even have clothes on? I do. Okay, let's take our clothes back off. Oh, look at me in my undies. You have unicorn deer outside. What? All right. All right, let's go check this out. See what we got. Okay, dead bodies here. Piece of meat. Yeah. Uh, oh, and trail. Man, what? We'll put on them trail boots, baby. Look at me in my sexy trail boots. Let's see what we get up here, guys. 
See what we get up here. Okay, the torch. It looks like it's stable. Let's see what we get. Toque and something. Worn climbing socks. And use this. so we got climbing socks. Bam, baby! Science! So if you spawn at the top of the river, you get the climbing socks. If you don't, you don't get the climbing socks. See what I'm saying? Very interesting. Must determine loot table? Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we could go give it a shot. Uh, let's see. Where's a good place? Where's a good way out of here? Oh, that's not a good way out of here. That's not a good way out of here. And it blew our torch out. Always spawn while on top. I know. It's the best way to go. Yeah, and now I'm dead curious about what loot table we're on. Don't think it matters where you spawn, just what loot table you're on. I don't know. I don't know if it's key to spawn point or loot table. We've been unable to... We, we haven't made that determination. I probably shouldn't go up here, but I'm just dead curious to see what's up here. Sometimes there's a dead wolf in the corner over here. Or there used to be. Not right now, but... I'm gonna make a run at this one 750 days. Oh, uh, Probably not. This was all for science, guys. This was for science, boys and girls. That's what we do. We do things for science around here. Sometimes there's a dude with a fire pit here, but not today. Could climb up there, but I don't really want to. I was just hoping there was a dude with the fire pit. Well, now, since we actually want to figure out what loot table we're on, I guess we need to, uh... So, that's what I was wondering. What is more fun for you? First 30 days, first 100, after first 100? Uh, I'd say before the first 100 days is the most fun. There's still a world to explore. There's things to do and stuff to see and places to go. After that initial hundred, there's not a lot left to do in the game. Except just kind of run around and, and wreak havoc on bears and moose and stuff. Alright, I guess we have to go to Sketchy's cave and see if we can survive it. I always get turned around in this cave. Oh, there's the there's there's where we need to go. Okay. I don't care if this torch goes out because it's no good to us anyway.
through science I determined that 99.999% of deaths happen on Earth. And there's the guy who casually dies on Mars. What? <laughs> Say what? I'm not even going to put my clothes back on because there's no point. Oh, we went this way. I know, dude. It's going to get a lot colder, too. We're just going naked, because you know what? There's no point in putting clothes on. we got to go through another waterfall. Well, you won't exactly die, but it won't be good for you either. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Keep going the other direction, my friend. Grab a few more cattails here, because, hey, they're cattails, and they'll keep us from starving, right? Yeah, we're getting a little tired. Let's drink our soda. That'll give us some energy, right? Why don't sodas give you energy? Are they all caffeine-free? In this long, dark world, do they only have caffeine-free sodas? You should get like a little, you should be able to find like a Mountain Dew or a Jolt or something. Get a nice little jolt of energy. You know what I'm saying? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Aren't they drawing the mega jackpot right now, guys? The mega, mega, whatever, mega millions. I want to see if I won. Probably be get it be against Twitch practices to like stream that though, huh? All right, good night, Ice Scythe. How you? Have a good night, and thank you so much for the follow, buddy, and hope to see you later. We got a science that's just a little bit more, guys. We have to figure out what loot table we're on and see if there's any correlation between that and the last time we played. Because if, like, we're on loot table two or something, that could mean a whole lot of different things. Because... Last time we were on loot table three, and that's when we got the climbing socks. Today we got the climbing socks, and LMG Twitch just hosted us up with 27 viewers. What? Hey, LMG, how's it going, man? Oh, shoot. If I spelled right, what? What am I doing? What am I doing wrong? What did I do wrong there? What? I don't know what I did wrong. I kept spelling your name wrong or something. Why is it saying no game? 
Oh, Fallout 76 doesn't compute. I'm like, why is it saying no game? The only time I get that is if I screw up and spell somebody's name wrong. Oh, so you're playing Fallout 76. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. How are you liking Fallout so far? So, LMG, we just, uh, we forced another Hush River Valley spawn because we were trying to see if we could get those again. It looks like climbing socks are a thing in Hush River Valley on some loot tables. We did one spawn where we spawned up above here. Oh, damn it. And our smoke signal is in the bad spot, too. That sucks. Can't get to that without a hatchet. But, um... Played, played the stress test and then the beta. Four days of night this weekend, I know. And for those of you who don't know what four days of night is, here you go. Check it out. Some freaky stuff, guys. nowhere to hide. That is going to be four days a night, ladies and gentlemen. Starting soon. Uh, smoke signal does not relate to loot tables. No. Does not relate to loot tables at all, as far as I am aware. Um, actually, I had the good smoke location, no strings. We actually had the good smoke location in, in that run. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm crouched, at least. This is where it gets scary, guys. This is the cave with pupper in it. I think I hear a ducky hug. That's a ducky hug. I heard that. But thank you for the ducky hugs. I do appreciate each and every one of them. I'm going to check down here first because this is the furthest location away that can have the loot stash in it. And it has our loot. Got the hacksaw, bedroll, couple cans of food, a little bit of this, a little bit of those, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. Now we need to find what loot table we're on, guys. And if you're wondering what the loot table I'm talking about is, it's that right there. That right there. Last game we were on loot table three. If we could nail down that the socks are going to appear in that cave on loot table three, that would be awesome. We would be like, we would be like legend. But yes, we got climbing socks for a second time on Interloper. And I've talked to another person in chat who got climbing socks in that exact same spot as well.
Scruffy can, uh, not Scruffy, but Sketchy can smell your fear, guys. Just letting you know. Smell your fear from a thousand paces. Saint Rose Boss, Saints Row Boss is now hosting us as well. Thank you for the host, there, Saints Row. We can smell your unwashed underwear. Yes, you can. It's like something is sapping my energy. And something is sapping our energy now because we're tired, but we can't stop. We can't stop yet, guys. Saints Robots just redeem the bear explosion. Thank you for the bear explosion there, my friend. I don't know if I even have enough energy to climb this rope. I think I probably do. Where is the rope? Where's the rope, my friends? Make it rain! Make it rain. Oh, we're really tired. We're really tired. Tired. Oh, but that's good. We're okay. We're good. We're good. Once you're up that rope, you're safe. The wolf cannot get you up here. There are no wolves up here, my friends. No wolves. Only joy and happiness await those who come up here. Now, this is the other area that that cache can be is right back up in here. But it's not there today, so we don't have to worry about it. I will get that make it rain out in just a second. If you guys uh, do want to uh, get in on the giveaway, we're giving away a copy of Seven <laughs> Days to Die as of tomorrow evening after the stream. We'll be giving away that copy of Seven Days to Die. So if you would like to get a uh, get in on that, you can go to that link there. And uh, this is where I usually set up camp. Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the bear apocalypse there, my friend. Thank you so much for the bear apocalypse. And the tickets do cost 100,000 bear hides per ticket. But hey, look. Because of that bear apocalypse, we're handing out 150,000 bear hides. So there you go. You got some bear hides now. You got some bear hides in the bear hide stash. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so our goal right now is to get out of here and get, to, get into Milton. Because once we're in Milton, we can discover pretty quickly what we got. Oh, I forgot I had that. <laughs> Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Because in Milton, if we're on loot table three, we make it to the trailer from the church and we'll find a storm lantern in there. So. Might as well eat that up. Leave a little bitty bite. I could use a drink. Yeah, I know we could use a drink, but we don't have anything to drink. 37. All right, let's... Uh... Man, we don't have anything to repair with either. That kind of sucks. Um... Where's that rabbit? Oh, there's the rabbit. Get the other little honk of meat off of them. Okay. Is 
There we go. Now we got something to drink. A two-seater, 12 coal, 24 sticks. Wow, that's pretty dang good. Throw a couple coal on there, just cuz. Just cuz we can. Twenty-one minutes till that's ready. So let's uh let's harvest up the No, let's harvest the gut with the uh with that. There we go. I'm getting weaker. He had. <laughs> yes, he had. <laughs> We're down to only 73% condition, so that's not too bad. Let's get a little more water made while we get the, uh, get the gut off of this dude. Or the hide. All right, so we got some stuff harvested up. That's good. We're going to get some sleep. That's also good. We don't have to worry about puppy poo. That's that's even better. Let's uh let's uh prepare up these rose hips. Just in case we get a sprained wrist or sprained ankle, we might as well do it. I haven't been real thorough about looting up this stuff today, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, let's eat that complete piece. And then eat that one down about halfway. And eat that one down just a little bit more. There we go. Let's drink up some water. Whew. Brutal. Okay, let's uh, get our bedroll laid down. I usually find this rock here is pretty good for laying the bedroll on sometimes. No, no, maybe this rock. Maybe that rock? Maybe maybe somewhere... Oh, 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 oh I, I had a spot. I had a spot. God, laying these down in here is so, such a pain in the butt anymore. There we go. That should, that should be done by the time we wake up in the morning. Because at our low cooking skill, it'll take a while before that'll boil off, so... All right, let's sleep her off, and then we'll try to get out of the zone tomorrow. Getting out of the zone is a little bit tricky. Just a teensy bit. Oh, and it's boiled. Look at that. Yum, 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 yum. I guess since we aren't going long-term, I don't need to take any of this stuff with me. I'll take it with me anyway. I'll even take the guts. I'll drop those for bait. I got two, so basically I have four baits on me right now. You wager 20,000 bear hides in one? Nice. All right, time to get out of this horrible place. Now, if we were lucky, if, if we had got a good uh, spawn on our uh, our smoke signal, it would be over on this side, and we'd be able to get to it. Since it's over on the other side, we will not be able to get to it, unfortunately. Which makes me very sad. I can't stop myself, guys. They're rose hips. And here comes the wolf. Oh, he smells us. See, I, I dropped all my stuff, and he doesn't smell us anymore. Until we get ready to go down the rope, I'm not going to carry it with me. I don't want the extra attention. You'll see, though, as soon as we pick this stuff up, that guy right over there is going to turn and come right to us. Wanna get some old man beer like in here real quick. If 
Bye bye, Mr. Wolfie. Bye bye, Mr. Wolf. Bye bye. So from that ice cave there, if you climb down this rope, you can get to a good spot. Oh, oh, here, here comes the moment of truth, guys. Okay, so for Tuesday, October 23rd, that's today. You know, guys, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not a billionaire. I'm not a billionaire, guys. I know I've disappointed all my fans now because I'm not a billionaire. Oh, crap, there's a bear down there. Hello, Mr. Bear. Don't mind us. We're crouching and following behind you here. Wait. I'm so cold. I'm cold up again. Oh, I forgot I can't get up here. I could eat anything right now. Okay, we made it around. Okay, we made it around the corner. We're good. Whoo! That bear was that bear was standing right in our way there, boys and girls. I did not like that at all. Ooh, there's a is that a stick? No, it's not a stick. Usually I do not like to carry the raw guts with me. At this point I just want them to drop for bait if I need to. Because I'd rather keep the rabbit meat on me to eat if I need it. Although it's tiny little pieces, at least it gives us some calories, so. Whew. Okay, I think we're going to make it out of here, guys. Usually that bear is not walking down there, but once you come down that rope, you just circle around you know, like you saw us do to the left. Circle around, come up, and then this, this path here takes us straight out of the zone. So it's not that far to go. Which is kind of nice. Now we got a frostbite affliction on our hands, most likely, yep. We haven't got frostbite yet, it's only at, you know, 1%, but we gotta get inside and get warmed up again. The sucky thing is, and we are not coming out of this zone with a heavy hammer like we did last time. Last time we came out with a heavy hammer because our smoke signal was in the proper position, which was up by that ice cave that we just exited out of. And so we were able to drop right over and get it. Never been so hungry in my life. I know. It's horrible. But we're almost to Mystery Lake, or almost uh, Milton. Not Mystery Lake. We're almost to Milton, dude. You'll be fine. You'll be fine, my friend. It's going to be fine. So what sounds good for tonight, guys? I think I should go tacos or boiga. Or maybe I could go McNuggets. Mmm. Nuggies sound good. I could go for a 10-piece nuggy. Maybe a little barbecue sauce. A little sweet and sour. Maybe a little honey mustard on the side. Hmm. It's a tough decision. It's a tough decision, let me tell you. You have bad luck, Rambo. Oh yeah, I, I don't. I don't like. I, that's why I don't like to gamble. Like I bought this lottery ticket today, and I said there is there is four dollars I am never gonna see again in my life. But I had to do it. I mean, the the jackpot was a billion. I mean, 
You know, for four bucks, I, I don't do lottery that often. So for four bucks in a, in a year, I think I can live with myself. I won't hate myself in the morning too much, you know? You got three fifths of the numbers. You're so mad. Oh no. Well, does that get you something though? Doesn't getting like three numbers get you anything? I mean, like 10 bucks or at least pay for your tickets? I didn't even get three numbers, man. I didn't even get three numbers, dude. So you got you got three more numbers. That I, I honestly, I don't think I got one number. Let's see. Five. I have no five. 28. I have no 28. 62. I don't have a 62. 65. I don't have a 65. 70. I don't have a 70. And five. I do not have a five either. So I got zero numbers. Zero point zero numbers is what I got. Torque, does it get you anything though? Do you get anything off of it? Like even 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks? Okay, guys, soon we'll see what loot table we're on. This is for all the marbles, boys and girls. If it is loot table three, loot table three is going to be the desired loot table for anybody playing this game. If it's tied to a loot table, I don't know if it is. If it's a different loot table, then we might have to do some more starts later on and uh, see if we can determine if uh, if it's the spawn point or not. You got 200 bucks, Torque. Dude, if I got 200 bucks for four dollars, I'd be jumping. I'd be jumping up and down, dancing a little jig. Of course, it's not. It's not as tasty. I know, it's not as tasty as millions, man. And billions. But hey, it's 200 bucks. It's $200. $200, $200. Come on. Well, Clever Sided, thank you for uh, sharing that. And uh, maybe you'll feel a little, little, less, little less sad about it now, Torque. I mean, you may not, you may not, you may feel just as sad about it, but maybe you'll feel a little less sad. What am I do? What am I doing here? I'm, I'm like acting like I'm gonna do anything more with this character. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. I don't want to do that. I didn't want to do that anyway, man. I just want to see if there's a storm lantern in here. My stomach feels like an empty pit. There's no storm lantern in here, dude. This is not loot table three, my friend. Unless the storm lantern's back here somewhere. Uh, this is not loot table three. Oh, it's a times three multiplier, so it goes to six hundred. What? This is not loot table three. Oh, there's a hacksaw in here. What loot table am I on? There's a hacksaw. There's a hacksaw in. Okay. And if you campfire. Oh, I'm in Milton. Orca gas station. Maintenance shed, table by bathroom. No. Trailer near church. We're on loot table one. We're on loot table one, boys and girls. Yeah, we're on the one. Yeah. I, th I think it has to do with where you spawn. I really do. So um, I think what we're going to do, guys, is uh, next time we play, uh, let's just go out and die in the world somewhere. Let's go out and die in the world, guys. So we guaranteed you can get it on loot table one and three. We're just doing a, we're doing a run. We're doing a run to Grey Mother's house. Nothing's going to stop us, boys and girls. 
Nothing's gonna stop me now. And if this world runs out of lovers, we'll still have each other. There's a moose stomp coming in now. Oh, that's a moose, guys. Moose that's, stomp. That's a, that's a moose right there. That was a moose right there. We're gonna save up all our sprint. See if we can make it there. Nothing's gonna stop us now. You know, I love that movie, Mannequin. Holy crap, look at all the wolves. Look at all the wolves. Look at all the wolves. The wolves. My milkshakes brings all the wolves to the yard. Damn right. It's better than yours. Oh, we got stuff and things for him, though. There's a pack. That's a happy pack of wolves right there, boys and girls. Oh, wait, wait. That one... What the hell? Oh, God. I thought another one was on top of me. Holy shnikes, Fulgario. That was a perfect ducky hug, man. That ducky hug could not have gone off better, bro. Wow. I seriously thought there was one right on top of me. I was I was kind of resigned to the fact we were going to die, but you know, it was it was it was it was, it was, it was very interesting. Okay, so we're going to have a Magda lens in here. Uh, the Milton Park building has another bedroll. Paradise Meadow Farm has a storm lantern. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, we're on loot table one. Let's just see what we got in here. I'm just curious. I, lo I love loot. I, th I think looting is like my favorite thing. Oh, this is one of the guaranteed match spawns in the game, too. Matches are always on this counter in the Grey Mother's house. There's always matches there. Sardons. There's some pork and beans over there, or just beans. I guess they're just beans. There's no pork in those pork and beans, guys. We got a pot. We got some pot, boys and girls. This place loves pot. Just say it. This is probably another pot out here. Yep. The Grey Mother loved pot, guys. I, that's all I got to say about it. The Grey Mother and her pot. Whoa! What was all that good stuff we just got? That I just clicked right over. There's what we've been looking for. Sewing kit. That's what we wanted. Now we can harvest up some of this stuff and make things and stuff out of it. Lots of pot in Canada now. Well, lots of pot in Oregon, too. Ho, ho, ho! hey -o. Lots of pot in my neighborhood as well, man. Yeah, dude, we got all the pot. Now, always break this curtain down, guys. You'll get a mystery gift. If you break this little piece of cloth down, you get a mystery gift. We got a cup of coffee. I've seen maples come out of there. Cups of coffee, teas, all sorts of good stuff. Now, we should get a mag lens in here, I think. There it is. Another pair of jeans, which we don't need. Potable water. Yeah, but didn't I hear that they only, like, are allowing, like, one pot store in Canada to open or something like that? It's, like, legal to possess, but... You can't, like, really get it that easily. Which seems kind of weird. Alright, well, this has been a, this has been a good adventure, guys. We got, we got a lot of stuff very early in the game. And we got a maple. All right, so this this was pretty fun. 
We definitely will have to revisit and see uh, what else we can do later on. Uh, not on this character though. This character, this character though, is headed. Uh, this character is unfortunately headed to an early grave. I heard there's some hungry wolves out here. Let's see how many wolf attacks I can survive with nothing. One. That's like how many licks to the center of a Tootsie Pop. One. All right, guys. Well, I am going to be hosting some... Wow, we hear the wolf still growling at us. That's creepy. That's creepy as hell. So we're going to host somebody up here, guys. Let me find somebody here to host. Um, I'll let you watch this while I'm doing that. Oh, Zero Planes is on. We'll go, we'll go snag Zero Planes. Well, you know, no strings. It may be on more than one loot table. Coming soon, guys. Four days of night, four challenges, and 4,000 wolves. Everybody, get in on the raid for Zero Planes. I'd like to thank you all, though, for coming.